good morning welcome back to another vlog today is monday brand new start to the week um we just got back from washougal yesterday that was the previous vlog so if you haven't seen that yet go check it out my battery is about to die in this camera so let me change that real quick all right we're back in business so today is monday the kids are at my mother-in-law's um when we were living in our house like once a month they would go spend a weekend with her and they haven't got to do that in a while and we are semi in our old area we used to live in kind of like 30 minutes or so um and so she is like 45 minutes away from where we're at right now so on our way home yesterday or on our way to where we are right now yesterday we stopped off at her house picked up the dog he spent a few days with her while we were at washougal because it's so hard to do washougal with a dog um it's just not the place so he was with her so we dropped the kids off with her picked the dog up and they'll be back wednesday morning but today we just have a whole bunch of errands to do we gotta go back to the town that we used to live in and pick up some mail from our p.o box um, we need to go to Walmart, get a new water filter for outside for like where the water comes into the trailer. Uh, whenever our water pressure starts getting like kind of low, that's when we know we need to change it. So we got to go get one of those. Um, we just need a few, I mean catch up, you know, just a few little things. And I feel like there's somewhere else we needed to go to. Yesterday I did all the laundry except for bedding. So today that's on my agenda. I need to edit a vlog today and get that up. Um, I need to edit a reel for better beef and get that up. Just a whole bunch of admin that needs to get done. Or so I don't have my shoes on yet. I was gonna say, let me show you what I'm wearing today. Um, it's cause it, you know, it's either like I had get a cute outfit on or I'm in a t-shirt and Nike shorts. So, <laughs> uh, today's outfit, some thrifted Abercrombie jeans from, I think I got these from Threadup or Poshmark. And then this bodysuit is also thrifted. And I'm gonna wear my Tory Burch sandals and my Amazon purse. So, Donnie's got the truck started. He's out there waiting for me. Let's go get this day going. So our first stop is at our storage unit because we um, were camping at motocross track all weekend and we had like our outdoor recycling can and our outdoor trash can set up so the recycling can is all like bottles and cans everyone's water bottles pop cans beer bottles beer cans all of that um like we just had it like in the center of our camp so everyone was putting their cans and bottles in there um in oregon we have this company called bottle drop and um because you whenever you buy bottles and cans in Oregon, you pay a deposit. I know it's like that in some other states too, but you pay a deposit. So if you return the cans, you get your deposit back. So there's this thing called bottle drop, but you have to have these specific green bags to put your bottles and cans in. And then these like QR code stickers that are linked to your account that go on the bag and then you drop them off at the bottle drop location. They scan it and then you get your money back. And I think the bags and the stickers, we had to put them in here because we were in Washington for a while and we just put a whole bunch of stuff in storage that we weren't like using on a day-to-day -day basis. So we had to come by here to get the bags so then we could get rid of all the cans and the bottles that are in a giant bag in the back of the truck. Does that make sense? <laughs> you guys are probably like, okay. Of course, we had to get a little Dutch. I don't see caramel drizzle in there. Some DB, let me go back. Want me to get your drizzle? Apparently Dutch Bros doesn't know how to make a caramel macchiato. They're like, oh, is that, a, know what it was. Is that a Starbucks drink? I'm like, mm, no, you can get it literally any coffee shop. It's like a vanilla latte with caramel drizzle, essentially. But anyways, that's what I got. Is I got good? his, yeah, it's pretty good, but there's no like, there should be like that thick caramel like sauce in there. And you like can tell, I don't think, it, I don't think there is, but that's fine. Um, Donnie got his, standard strawberry rebel now we're headed post to our next location the post office it's rainy today gray and rainy so let's do a little p.o box haul 
shall we? One of my packages is actually missing uh, for a brand I'm working with again. It was delivered to the box and it is not here. So we're trying to track that down. Um, but I ordered these bracelets from Tay Spangler Company. They're so cute. My friend Michelle has a bunch of these stack, like a stack of bracelets, you know, that she had made. And so I reached out and asked her to make me some custom ones too. So I got those ordered last week and they're already here. So, so that was so quick. So the ones I did, I did this. I told her to surprise me with the colors and she freaking killed it. But I did this pink one with these daisies. And then I did all the kids' names. So this one's Brody and it's like little checkered beads. And then Brayden with the checkered beads, Berkeley with the pink beads, and a little daisy on there. And then this one says D and K. Isn't that cute? And then this one says Casper Crew. So you like wear them all together, like a little stack. Isn't that cute? I know, that's cool. I will link her um, shop below. Oh, and she has you send like a custom or like a measurement of your wrist so that way they fit like snug snug yeah oh my gosh they're so cute they fit good mm -hmm. not too tight not too loose Aren't those cute? okay so that's the first package tay spangler co so if you need some bracelets check her out and then i ordered um <laughs> an instagram ad actually got me i've been seeing this brand all over the place for this sunscreen. The brand is called Vacation, and it, the marketing and the the like branding is just so good. It looks like it's from like the 80s, 90s. Look at this. It just sucked me in. And I looked at all the reviews, and everyone says that it's like smells so good and works so well. Um, so I just had to get it. This is what. Oh my God! Look at. It the packaging it looks like I just went to the drugstore and picked up my sunscreen um, I only got two things for now but I if I like the smell of it I'm sure I'll end up getting more because we are just outside in the Sun non-stop so we love a good sunscreen but I got the classic spray in 50 because I can use this on myself and the kids um, and then I also got the super spritz 50 spf 50 face mist smells like sunscreen does this one just smell like sunscreen too there's like a perfume everyone's like oh i love this smell so much i got the perfume oh oh that does smell freaking good it just smells like summer not like coconutty but like it literally smells like vacation. That's crazy. Okay. That's awesome. Love that. Can't wait to use that. Wish it was sunny today, but that's fine. They have this SPF 30 Classic Whip. Oh, you can get it at Ulta. That's the, it's like whipped cream, but it's sunscreen. They have Classic Lotion, Mineral Lotion, Chardonnay Oil, SPF 30 Sunscreen Oil. SPF 30 lip, lip balm, the hydrating face mist. Oh, they have a whole, like, they have candles? Hmm. Reef friendly, clean earth friendly, the world's best smelling sunscreen scent. Derm dermatologist developed and tested. Interesting. It really does smell so good. Okay, and then I got an Amazon package. I don't know what's in here. Let's see. Oh, this is a uh, brow gel, brow mousse, water resistant microfiber tinted brow mousse. My brow gel is out. And this had really good reviews. What color did I get? Neutral brown. There we go. And, oh, this might be uh, Donnie's. What is this? 
Oh no. Oh, this is Berkeley's watch that she wanted for her birthday. She ordered this with some of her birthday money. A little limited to interactive watch. She's gonna be so excited. Okay, there's our P.O. Box haul. I really came here to pick up my <laughs> package from the brand that I'm working with. I've worked with them before, cleaning products, and I love Blue Land. And um, it says it was delivered here, and it is not here. So she's having her supervisor look into it. And we're only here for two more days, so hopefully they can find it. But anyways, next stop. Smallest Walmart in the world. In the world. It's not a neighborhood market. It's literally, it's a full Walmart, but it is tiny. And it is here in our town we used to live in. Tiny, tiny little Walmart. You never know if you're going to be able to get everything on your list. We probably won't be able to. Here we go. All right, we are back from town. I'm going to give you guys a little haul from what we got at Safeway and Walmart. We've got some green grapes. Um, the boys are both out of their shampoo conditioner so I got them both another one um, Donnie was out of his body wash so we got a body wash we got mustard we got ketchup Donnie was out of his deodorant so we got deodorant I got a couple of these Alani new Alani's Kim Kardashian Alani's to try out um, we got sponges paper bowls paper plates goldfish garbage bags fabric softener um, fruit snacks bananas a couple of these fair life protein drinks that Braden likes to have for breakfast some cheese crackers cheese crackers a um, couple of yogurts for me I got vanilla and coconut vanilla and then these chocolate rice cakes they're my favorite to put peanut butter on with a sliced up banana and um, some little chocolate chips on top it's so good and then we got some paper towels peanut butter little chocolate chips skinny pop and act two all right i got all those groceries put away um i have a bunch of work to do so i'm gonna say bye to you guys for a little bit and i have some bookings i need to do for our travels um thousand trails you can book like the earliest you can book is like 60 days out so i've got some just some planning to do um and i need to edit a voiceover for a reel i was telling you guys that and i need to edit a youtube video so i can get that up hopefully today um so i'll see you guys a little bit later i am just gonna sit right here in my little office my boys are gonna supervise i'm gonna get a whole bunch of work done i'll see you guys later hello it's the next day and oh why is your music already playing in here that's weird oh oh i see and then opening that door it doesn't shut it off I until it opens oh that seat it's really hot anyways hello it's the next day i spent the rest of yesterday working so i didn't pick up the camera but this morning we went and ran some errands went to macy's and returned a dress i had bought for this funeral that i didn't end up wearing and then we went to the ups store because i had to return some stuff to amazon i had to send in my kindle um because i am doing like the trade-in my old kindle to because i got a new one for prime day uh it's like a 30 dollars trade-in or something like that so i had to send that in but my new kindle isn't going to be here till thursday at the p.o box so i'm not even going to be able to get it until we come back to the valley i didn't even think about that till right this second um yeah, we just went and ran some errands this morning, came back, took cash for a little walk. Went to Better Beef. Oh, we went to Better Beef. Yeah, we picked up some more meats, and Donnie's real excited because he got a tomahawk this time, and we're going to cook that tonight, so I'll show it to you. Uh, I better grab this before you turn. But we got back, and then I was talking to my friends, and Bronte and Michelle were talking about these nails that they got from Ulta. Um, I think in one of, like, a recent vlog I did 
those like glue on nails and then I did my gel polish over the top and I showed it to you guys and I love that gel polish color actually it's, I still have it on my toes um, but the nails themselves just like they kept popping off when we were at Wash Ugal and I kept gluing them back on and I was just over it so I ripped them all off like on Sunday night um, but they were t telling me about these nails that are like already designed and painted and everything you just glue them on and the glue is like really really great so naturally I want to try them can we have this on yeah. it's hot um, so we're gonna run to Ulta and I also want to go to TJ Maxx right next door or is it Marshalls it's TJ Maxx are they both right no there's a home goods and a TJ Maxx shopping center anyways I want to look for some sunglasses because these are pretty much the only ones that I have right now and I just don't want to wear the same ones all of the time so we're going back to town to do that so I figured I'd pick up my camera and do a little more vlogging alright I'm gonna give you guys an Ulta haul here what we got at Ulta so I got three packs of the nails. I will keep you posted on how they last, but they come with glue. So I got these, a little checkered of course, and these. So these are the Wild Child, uh, Disco Mania, and Checkmate. They all come with glue, and I think they all have 30 nails. Some of them come with 24. All three of these come with 30. Now we're headed to, oh, we did go into um, TJ Maxx. I did not like any of the sunglasses they had in there. Just not what I was looking for, so I'll have to check. Just have to keep my eyes out. We're gonna be away from like our PO box for a while. So I was gonna say maybe I'll check Amazon, but I actually ordered some from Amazon like during Prime Day and I returned them because I didn't like them. I'm so picky and I just, these are the only ones I wear. But now we're going to Walmart. Um, so we have like a big full size black stone that we had at the house on our back patio. That's in storage, obviously we can't cart that around the US with us. And then we have our small like tabletop black stone, but it's fairly small. I think it's like a 17 inch, um, which worked great. Like, you know, there's nothing wrong with it that's also buried in storage somewhere because we have an outdoor grill like built into our um, outdoor kitchen and then we have our stove oven in the trailer and then we also have like an electric skillet however we have been wanting to have our blackstone but we the little one that we have that we use for camping um, one, we don't know where it is in our storage, so we would have to go like dig through there and try to find it. Two, we want a little bit bigger one for like outdoor cooking while we're traveling, um, and possibly one that has like the lid on it that you can close down, which is awesome when you're cooking like burgers, melting cheese, like keeping stuff warm, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go check out and see what kind of blackstones they have at this Walmart. And then Donnie was watching, was that on TikTok? Mm -hmm. On TikTok he saw this like DIY like thing you can basically like attach to your back bumper of your RV if you want like a spot to put your blackstone. But then the more we were thinking about it, he was thinking about doing that, but then we were thinking about like, you know, if we want to cook outside, we want it to be like in the shade or maybe like have it over here or have it over here and not just be like in one spot. You know what I mean? Like if you if you build it on the back of your bumper, you have to set it up there every single time and you don't know. Like every campground is different. You don't know if it's gonna be in the shade or if like where we're at right now, if we had it on our back bumper, we'd be like standing in dirt while we're cooking. So we think we wanna just get like one of those foldable blackstone stands that has like wheels on one end and it's like made specifically for the blackstone. So we're just gonna go check some things out. Um, because it's been almost two months now living in the trailer, traveling around Oregon and Washington, and we're missing the Blackstone a lot. I kind of wish we would have kept our little one out, but we didn't think we would need it. We're getting that a little bit, so we're just gonna go. We're gonna go see if we're gonna get another one. And whenever we unload our storage one day, which who knows when 
that's gonna be that you know maybe we'll just have multiple black stones for all different occasions <laughs> long story short we're going to walmart to possibly get another black stone all right not going to the tiny walmart this time we're going to the big walmart if you watched a lot oh wait was that the last vlog or was that this vlog i don't know guys you know what i'm talking about though i'll be back and i'll let you guys know if we buy another black stone okay no luck at walmart for the black stone they had black stones there but they were like the big ones we need a tabletop one we're looking for the 22 inch tabletop and i think the lowe's next door has it so we're going there now no luck here either just big ones we need the table topper bummer they do have a lot of oh look at oh wait that's not a tabletop one they have this the exact same one that we already have but we want a bigger one then they have electric i didn't even know they made electric black stones i thought they just had the propane ones mm -hmm. but they do have the press that we want what size is that press i know why would you need one that big for a steak bacon paninis steaks hamburgers sandwiches and much more i mean that's what it says on this one too but that one's just bigger but i want to get the taco racks you can like put your corn tortillas on here you know and it'll like crispy them up while and then you can like stick the meat in there i love that this won't melt? This rubber? It won't melt when it's that far off. Oh, okay. They got all sorts of Blackstone uh, accessories. Accessories. Accessory or all of our tools are buried in storage too. The hamburger kit. Oh, that, ha that one has the circle press thing, babe. That hamburger kit. That's the one that that guy was using in that video. The small circle, the stainless steel one. They don't have that here, just the singular. Maybe I'll check Amazon. Cause this is like, freaking heavy duty. Um, what's this called? Cast iron. Couldn't find a black stone. I searched online, there's none. All they have is 17 inch, like in stock anywhere. So we are out of luck for finding a 22 inch with the cover um and i'm not even seeing it on amazon either so i'm not I'm not exactly sure maybe we'll just have to like check other areas along the way and pick one up somewhere else besides where we are right now but um donnie just ran into safeway real quick to get some brussels sprouts and some parmesan cheese because we're gonna make some Parmesan crusted Brussels sprouts and red potatoes in that tomahawk for dinner tonight. So I'll show you the tomahawk when we get back. It's really big, so we're gonna share it. I just need like a little slice off of there. Um, but the, the Brussels sprouts and the potatoes is like our favorite <laughs> meal to go with a steak. We do that like once a week. But. Anyways, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna put some nails on. I don't know which ones I'm gonna do. And then probably go lay at the pool for a little bit, get a little bit of sun, and then do some more editing. We got Brussels and we got stinky cheese. Oh, there's a big stretch, Baba. It's a big stretch. It's a good boy. That, oh, that's a good boy too. This a good boy too. That's a good boy too. Oh, that's a good boy. All right, which which nails are we doing?
chubby friggin' hands. I got my mom and my grandma's chubby wrinkly hands. <laughs> uh, I think I'll do these. All right, these are the ones that I did this time. I'll let you guys know how long they last. I'm so hard on my nails, so we'll see. All righty, friends, it's time to make dinner. Donnie's getting that uh, tomahawk going out there on the outdoor barbecue. I am gonna prep these Brussels sprouts. So all I'm doing this time is olive oil, a little of this grated Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder. And then I'm gonna pop these in the air fryer at, so it's probably like 450 for 12 minutes or so, 13 minutes. Brussels sprouts every single day. Every day. They're just, they're so good. Look how freaking good those look. Oh my gosh. There it is. Looks good. Smells good. Mm hmm. It's tastes good. snuggling and watching the summer I turned pretty. I'm on the fifth episode, I think. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up this vlog. Sorry about the lines on the screen right now. These LED lights right here do that for some reason. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. Be sure to subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.